Today we're going to retrofit an older style control bracket with a new motor controller board assembly on a 230, 240 volt, 50 hertz core. As you can see, I've already pressure tested the control compartment and removed the cover. So at this point, we're just going to go ahead and remove the old bracket like we normally would. So I'm going to remove the pump wires from the contactor here. I'll start with the red, the black one, and the brown one here. And go ahead and pull the red motor wire off of the start capacitor. Okay. And pull the white motor wire up here and cut it at the butt splice. Okay, once I've done that, I can go ahead and remove the two screws that secure the bracket, and I should be able to pull that bracket right out. bracket comes out and then you'll see we just have one wire left here that we have to remove and that's going to be that black motor wire from the start switch and the brackets removed before we can install the new motor controller board assembly we're going to have to do just a little bit of prep work on this core as always we recommend anytime that you break a seal you replace it so I'm going to go ahead and pull these o-rings off of here put some new ones on new o-rings here. I'm going to put a generous amount of Molly Coat 55 on there and then just spread it around all over the o-rings here. Okay, once we have it spread evenly, we can go ahead and put these on. Okay, put that down just a little bit. And now we're ready to prep our wires. Since the new motor controller board assembly has a completely different wiring configuration than that of the older style control bracket, we're going to make the following changes to our wire prep. Okay, the black motor wire will no longer need the red flag terminal on there, so I'm going to go ahead and cut that off and strip that wire back. The white motor wire will no longer need the butt splice on there, so we'll cut that off, but I'm gonna strip it back and I will add a flag terminal to this one. The red start wire already has a flag terminal on it, but we recommend any time that you pull one of these off that you replace it, so we'll go ahead and cut that one off and replace it as well. And then last but not least, we'll add a flag terminal to the red pump cable wire. So let's go ahead and prep these wires. Okay, now that our wires have been prepped, we're about ready to install the new motor control board assembly. But before I do that, I wanna go ahead and put this ground wire back in here and just screw it down to the chassis right here. Okay, just about got it. All right, so now we can go ahead and install the new motor controller board assembly. We're gonna use the same two screws that we used on the old style control bracket. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the assembly in here and screw it down and secure it to the chassis. Okay, we wanna make sure and line that hole up for the other screw to go in before we tighten the other one completely down. Okay, now that the new motor controller board assembly has been installed and secured to the casting, we can go ahead and wire it up. Relatively simple process. If you'll notice, we've got three wires here that have the flag terminals on them. We got the red pump cable wire, we have the white motor wire, and we have the red start winding wire. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this start winding wire and put it right here to the start capacitor. Then I'll take my red pump cable wire and I'm gonna bring it around here and put it into the common terminal of the relay on the motor controller board assembly. And then we'll take our white motor wire and we'll put it right here to the normally open terminal of that same relay. Okay, that leaves us three wires basically, two blacks and a brown. So we'll take the black motor wire right here, we'll bring it around here and we'll insert it into the lever nut. We're gonna have the lever up to insert it. Then we can push the lever down to secure it. And then we wanna give it just a little tug, make sure it's nice and secure. Do the same thing here with the pump brown 
wire here, or the pump cable brown wire, going to the brown wire on the MCB, up to insert, push it down, lock it in, give it one little tug there. And last but not least, we have the black pump cable wire here into the black wire from the MCB lever nut, up to insert, lock it in place, give it a little tug, everything just one more time, make sure everything's secure. Now at this point, I'm just gonna kind of clean this up a little bit, dress these wires up, and make sure that none of these are gonna inadvertently get pinched or crimped when we go to reinstall the control cover. So let me just push these down here, make sure they go in there nice and clean for us. We don't have anything sticking out, okay? So once we get to this point, what I'd recommend you go ahead and do is plug it into your test panel and bump it to make sure everything's operating correctly. Once you've tested it, then you can go ahead and reinstall the cover and pressure test the control compartment. That concludes the retrofitting of an older style control bracket to the new motor controller board simile for the 230-240 volt 50 hertz pumps.